Would you like to see how we botch this rigging of the GGBY net? Check it out on this episode of How Not to Highline. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinx, and welcome to uh, GGBY a week before GGBY. And what we're going to do is put this out in the big space in order to have possibly some cool projects happen. <laughs> And yeah. <laughs> so we're going to rig this up pretty much where the net used to be before um, GGBY had the net in the uh, smaller cove over here. But we're going to do a pretty cool technique. And I wanted to show you in this episode how we're going to get this net over uh, with the shower curtain method. Andy has his net over about two miles up right now. And uh, he used the shower curtain method and he said it was way, way better. So we are going to show you basically that mixed in with how we rig the net. So right now we have uh, two, well, same tagline, but two layers of it going across the canyon to over there. And the reason we have that is because we're going to fix the top um, tight like a high line. And then the bottom is going to pull over the net. And as the net gets over to here, we are going to uh, clip it to it. And it'll be like a shower curtain uh, going across a shower curtain rod. So the problem that we just discovered, since this is my first time doing the shower curtain method, is this is the side we're pulling from and we don't have the ends of the tagline so you can't really do it so we're rotating this they're going to tie the two ends together and they're just going to rotate it until we have the two ends over here so that was a fairly easy fix this is a hang frame that we did uh, some bolt buster projects with and you can see what 60 kilonewtons will do to wood but um I like this uh, method of hang frames. You have to have a fixed point here and not a pulley like we learned on bolt busters. Just going to a BFK. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kenny is too stoked. Um, so Kenny was a plumber at one time, we figured out. But uh, anyways, this is the top line right here. So we have our soft shackles, they're taped shut. And it's gonna go, this is the top line. And this is how we're gonna start it. And then we're going to make sure these um, lines are tight. And then we're going to, and it's going to be hanging like a loose flag. And then we have this other webbing over here um, that also goes across. This will be their secondary legs, the bottom of a vertical net. And then we'll just, uh, they'll end up getting all of that. We have our own for the corner that's over there. And then we just lift it up and put it wherever it makes sense to, there's just anchors all over the place. It's so nice about the fruit bowl. We'll just get it rigged up. Um, the idea is to put this, uh, have adjustable, so we can put it at a 45 degree angle as we hope that some wing sitters will be able to fly through the center hole. And that is why we want um, more of a rigid line here and flexibility on this side for like picking it up. So they're gonna start pulling this and they got leg number one, leg number, you know, the bottom of the net and we're gonna send it over. I'm loving this already. It's cool. It's just like there's no weight on it. Yeah. What do you think, Kenny? I think it's pretty safe. I think it looks like an A. And I think I'm being framed. A frame. A frame. Oh, not funny. <laughs> no, this it's is, funny. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're at the edge of the net and we're gonna clip our first hangover. We have, I believe, four of them. And we have to make sure we're not standing right here and then clipping in because the whole net, as you can see, is clustered right here. Now it's all orientated the way it needs to be and it's just accordioned right now. Um, and that's not a smooth, simple, clean process when you are trying to go over an edge. This is the reality of how space nets is, at least the big ones. So. Um, they're already pulled over a hundred meters of webbing and it's not to them yet, but we were able to shower curtain the top of it. So it's holding the majority of the weight. So now four of us are going to just scooch this thing over the cliff. All right, this is a dolphin safe net. Wow. It's really saggy. Damn. Anyways, you can Z drag and film at the same time. Not ideal. This is me not helping rig. This is a video. <laughs> so, uh, we have 
those guys telling us left or right on whether or not the net should go that way or this way. So we are centered. And then, uh, so Spencer McBride is pulling it that way. And then we're going to tension our side. So we're already seeing one Killy Killy Newton. And it's draping so far down. And that's why you can't really have a lot of people on a big net. Because it, it's almost at like six, seven, or eight kilonewtons just to get it up high enough. And every person adds a kilonewton. Hang frame looks to be okay. Our web lock. Ooh, it swivels. That's nice. The shower curtain's saving our bacon right now. So right now we have it up. Um, for the most part, we have to tension more on that side in order to get it more centered. I want about four, five, six, seven kilonewtons on that line. And then we use the backup line. We're gonna put uh, some tension on it. So they're both working in unison together. And that's pretty much done. We just lift up these other legs so we can uh, pull it to whatever anchor we want. We have a lot of flexibility with the square. Uh, I do like how the patterns are. Some of them are harder to see than others uh, with the colors in the background. But those bright oranges and stuff, it's really, really cool. So this is the other side. Our clothesline shower curtain method is ready to send back over and it's still embedded in the system now this isn't great the way we did it for high line but it's great for a space net that you're going to pull down in a few days all the hangovers are still out there on that shower curtain system we have um, we pulled the legs and walked the legs way over there so we're able to pull it up and the reason it's at that angle so we can fly some people through hopefully um, we might have to loosen them up to give it more of a uh, steep angle, depending on what they're looking for. But um, yeah, it's mostly up. It's maybe we'll rope swing off of it. It's not really designed at this point for other people to get on, but um, we'll be flat for the festival. And that's going to be a different process for rigging. And we will probably film that as a separate episode, maybe. So I really like the shower curtain method for what we did there. Now for a high line, um, the kind of the issues I would see with it is that every connection of the webbing that you attach to the fixed rigid shower curtain rod is going to be on your high line after you're done pulling that shower curtain rod back through out of the system because you wouldn't leave that in the system. If it got wrapped around the, the webbing, it could oscillate and cut through, especially if it's small like six mil. But for something like this net, it was fantastic. We also did this when we rigged the GGBY net, which we did make an, a separate episode for that because that was a completely different setup and everything. And uh, it's pretty neat how this net, um, how many different configurations and things you can do with it and how much we learn about rigging with it. So that'll be in a separate episode. And if you wanna to go to that festival, you can go to ggbygathering.org and get tickets for uh, the 2020 festival coming up in November. With the wingsuiter project that we did, we had four people go through it and that's going to tell their story on what they had to do, the logistics and all the things that happened with the wingsuiters going through the net. So that's a separate episode. I was also surprised by how much weight we were putting on that six millimeter accessory cord and that it held because it was, uh, it seemed just really like a lot of force. We were trying to keep it off the rock, but at the end of the day, it, like it held up all the weight. And when we de-rigged, which I didn't get footage of because it's just so complicated uh, to everyone had to help in order to pull it up, is the shower curtain rod, the six millimeter accessory cord, it um, held a lot of the weight, but it was so saggy that you, you still got to pull the net up over the cliff. And that net weighs around 350 or 400 pounds. And so, and that's not the only issue is it gets snagged on everything when you're pulling it up. And so um, we're all trying to be safe and stay clipped in when we're near an edge and pull on it. And it's, oof, oof, we were all pretty tired after that. But uh, we did it right before a rainstorm, got it all derigged. It was great. But I don't know how we would have done it without the shower curtain method, without having 50 people help. And so, um, yeah, let me know in the comments below or private message me if you know some tricks about the shower curtain method so uh, I can dial in that system because it would be great on giant, giant lines to be able to uh, slide the webbing over at every segmented section, every 50 meters, attach it to uh, a fixed accessory cord and then pull the webbing over. 
Maybe that's how I can rig some uh, larger solo lines in the future, uh, which I hope to do.